They gonna love me for my ambition. Easy. We'll make it happen. Oh, we'll easy. make it happen. We'll make it happen when the time comes. Um, moving on to cultural topics. Um, Joe Budden destroyed NBA Young Boy. He went off on NBA Young Boy, and this has caused the one of the biggest topics right now on the, on the fucking Twitter sphere. Music spaces. Let's play the clip I right see here this because of Joe Budden going at NBA Young Boy. I want to see this, and then NBA Young Boy's response and the whole back and forth altercation. Birdman even got involved, and then we have Joe Budden's new reaction as of today, again defending his stance and coming again doubling down on NBA Young Boy. So this was Joe Budden on his podcast talking. I'll play it like this regular. You ready to tell the truth about NBA Young Boy? Uh, not ready to do this. Uh, what's the truth? That nigga's trash. He's horrible. He is horrible. Damn. He is horrible. He is really, 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 really bad. Really, really, really bad. And that thing happened with him where when he was out, the label pushed a button <coughs> and did some YouTube shit. So then all the little kids had to just come to the fucking come to the gathering and tell you about NBA young boy views and how great he is and how awesome he is and how amazing he's doing. Now that the label's backed up a bit, and now that we done had about three or four projects while he's been in Utah on house arrest. So we have NBA young boy's response now. This thing I dropped was decided to my album still in the top 10, pussy ass nigga. Don't speak on me, I don't play that shit. Don't rat on me neither, you pussy bitch. <laughs> Very scary, man, holy shit. <laughs> Oh my God! Hold up, let's keep it going. I said, "Hold that piece about two minutes old." Oh, stupid, nigga. dumb bitch. Your dick don't even get hard no more. Clown ass nigga. <laughs> ain't no. Damn, he came out. He called. He said. He said that Joe Budden has erectile dysfunction. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, YouTube viewers. That <laughs> was crazy. <laughs> nah, you're not gonna tell me I got limp dick. <laughs> You're not, you're not going to do your that, Your dick bro. don't even get hot no more, you stupid nigga. You listen, stupid. Man, listen, man, in reality, if you don't bring that up at least once after going at, after yeah. going against someone who's older than you, then you ain't doing but it if, right. if he's telling the truth, how does he know how that? How the fuck, do, who gives a fuck if he is or not? Who the fuck, how does he know he got limp dick? Nah, he's just guessing his his dick. I'm pretty sure nah. Joe Budden's dick works. I'm assuming. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? How do you know that? Why would it not? Bro, stop. Victor likes to get into these conversations. You, got, you know what I'm saying? It looks like a man, his, his dick works. You know what I'm saying? Let's crazy. keep going. That's crazy. Oh, no, no oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, shit. It sounds <laughs> like the demon was behind me. But Lord bless us. We got to throw some holy water before we talk. continue talking about this. Bro. Nah, this nigga NBA young boy. Crazy. Fuck wrong with that nigga, man. Don't rat on me. I'm, don't rat on me, bitch. And I don't want to argue with your bitch ass, nigga. Hey. Bitch, you do all them interviews. Hey, come on, Grave Digging Mountain and talk to me, nigga. You Grave Digging Mountain. This nigga lives like where Frankenstein was created. Grave Digging Mountain. He called that shit Grave Digging Mountain? Like digging graves up there? I'm fucking surprised you understand what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> I'm just, I'm you just can't, waiting. Bitch, if you can't do that, man, hey, you bitch made, nigga. Shut your fucking mouth. He's tight, though. This thing I dropped with a... That was Birdman's uh, cold sign right there. Birdman said, Joe Budden, you fucking with something you should leave alone. Stunner Corleone, Gotti, N-B-A-R-G. Blah! Rest in peace tomorrow, and Miss Gladys, boy. <laughs> <laughs> now you got Birdman involved. Bro. You better back up, nigga. I'm trying to understand what the fuck you I'm You fucking with YB, nigga? Nah, this is crazy. Don't fuck with YB. Yo, who is This it? Rich Gang certified. Rich Gang. This is crazy. This is Rest crazy. in peace, Miss Gladys, boy. <laughs> This is crazy. This is the same. <laughs> nah, this is crazy, bro. This is cr nah, nah, nah. What am I watching right now? What is it keeps going. This is more. And then Vic is like adding on to it. Like this is crazy. Say I'm so sick of people trying to hurt me, niggas and bitches, bro. If you ain't my wife, you do not dictate my. Why is he so she soft? Don't want to tell me, bust your ass or let you slide. Never Man, hey, and she don't want to put me in jail for life. She don't want a person that I tell everything I do to. Man, you what? ready to tell? He snitched on himself yeah. on that last part. What the fuck? My was wife. That? If, if, if you want, if you guys want anyone that's to snitch on me, the rat would be my wife because she she's the only one that could put me in jail for life. Listen, he's talking. He, listen, first of all. I don't think that I don't think that NBA young boy is trash. I don't think he's trash. I don't think he's awful at all. I think it's just an acquired taste. It's a different sound. Like yeah, it's, it's an, an acquired, acquired taste, taste bro. It's an acquired taste. Like if the nigga was trash, I'm telling you right now, 
real, real trash is so is so bad that it's not even like successful most things that if you're calling something just trash it depends though, then it's bro. mid there's, there's, there's but if we're shit talking about real there. trash like little pump that's trash smoke perp trash there's niggas shit, that have fallen off shit it's because it's just trash there's shit out there that's trash but because it's comedy people make it famous you know what i'm saying okay what's some real successful trash like real successful like the number one artist in youtube for the past i think four or five years and be a young boy so you have to be like reaching a level of very success and Sex, still being trash. Successful I don't tra- think there's really much. Successful trash, which didn't go far, but successful trash was Ice JJ Fish. That's valid. That was, succe- successful, that was successful where? Trash. During, that, char- dur- during that little moment, during that little moment on YouTube and shit like that. I guess that, like, I guess I would have to be more specific as, was, far, as that far as like what success trash. means. No, I know what you guys are talking about. I'm trying to think of successful trash. Like re- like relevant to like your playlist. Like I got a song. A niggas gonna hate me for it, but it's it's a horrible <coughs> song. What Gucci flip flops? No, that Opal Gamma style song. That's just terrible. <laughs> it's successful trash though. Nah, no more. It's pop trash. That nigga's, that's a legend, though. The nah, thing, you see, the thing is, bro, this nigga. bro, he's the biggest artist in his in his he, country. You seen him perform? He still, he still performs that shit. He bro, he has a whole. He has albums that have sold millions. Yeah, you uh, know what it is? It's just the fact that <laughs> we don't understand him, but it's not trash. Him. I thought that shit was trash. <laughs> it was a vibe. Sexy ladies. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. I saw, Opa I saw, Gundam style. I saw Victor do it a couple times. I know he did. That's my shit. Nigga. I know it is. Don't get me started. I know. We need him in the studio. Sai. Shout out to Sai. You know what I'm saying? The first time I ever, you know what I'm saying? I never sp- said Sai with the P, but he makes it happen. The P silent. Bro, you know what's the funniest thing? I remember someone on Twitter said that NBA Youngboy is so successful on YouTube because street niggas just leave their PS5s playing with his music videos on <laughs> 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 And I actually know a nigga that did that exact mm. thing throughout all of fucking college, bro. I believe it. I Listen, believe it. But my thing is, like, NBA Youngboy, I think he's dropped too much music recently. It's because he's bored. It's, it's way too much. He's you on house I mean? arrest. What else he got to fucking do? He's on house arrest. He has nothing else to do. You know, he's screaming on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Have herpes. Allegedly, we don't know. Allegedly, I don't know about that shit. How you are you putting that shit on his dick? <laughs> Whoa, be for real. May, maybe, maybe these artists, you know what I'm saying? They're doing him a favor by creating drama and shit like that. I, yeah. Listen, he did invite Joe to the to interview him, even though it was like he, he uh, like kill him, bro. <laughs> even though it gave that vibe. Come to Grave Digging Island, motherfucker. You talk to everyone. You sit down and talk to everyone. Come to Grave Digging Island. It's like, whoa! Is this like Halloween town? Like, it's kind of scary. I, like, but not not because it was scary. I would, I just wouldn't go. Bro, bro remember, NBA Young Boy is the person who had beef with Jay Prince. Jay Prince raided his home to show him how accessible he is, and this thing NBA Young Boy still says, "Suck mad dick." I don't care. Yeah, he came out. They still beefing. Well, I think they he's might have reconciled. We don't know. He's a psycho for real. But NBA Young Boy, I think is very um. <laughs> he's crazy. I think he's very important to music to the, music to the, culture to the kids. Yeah, music culture because. If he really, like he said he, w- he was street, going to. The street motherfuckers <laughs> that got about YouTube on PlayStation. <laughs> we spoke about it here before when he promised in an interview that he was going to change his ways and he apologized. I, I literally have a viral clip when I was I talking about that. it with NBA Youngboy. He said he apologized to his fans for, you know, leading them on, and influencing that, them to that do. Last, that lasted how long? Yeah, influencing them to do like, uh, I don't know. Did he say that? I think he literally said maybe even crimes type shit, like to that level. Yeah, you believe the nigga with fourteen BMs? And I was like, oh, he's, he's gonna do, he's gonna really change. Let's see, right? And then how long did that last? I think like two months later, he dropped another album, and then the album was like um something about like I forgot the title. His title was like something about I'm sorry, I lied or some shit. And then yeah. the whole energy was like not that. So I was like, damn. So you know that you that you you need to change your energy. You know your influence, but you still don't give a fuck. You're still gonna keep them making that type of music, and then that that was this year, and now we we're like three albums after that. Still him doing that. So if he were to really change, I think it, it could be very very dope because he does have the young culture by a chokehold. But as far as his music, I don't listen to his music. I don't have his music in a playlist. Um, I don't hear his music at parties or pl- or. Really, realistically, it might be some like the older songs, um, but nothing recently from the recent albums. He doesn't collaborate with no one, you know, at all. Realistically, he'll have some features in the from the past, but he's not like actively out. He can't be. He's on house arrest. But I don't know. 
he gives me the energy like God forbid he were, but if he were to be free, he probably would be either dead or in jail. Like if he were to be free tomorrow, he'd probably be dead or in jail because he says all this shit. I'm sorry, but then he does it. All this, like he's threatening people on Instagram Live. Oh, like, what are you doing? He, so, knows, he knows who to threaten, though. Yeah, and this is my thing. I have two things about this dude. Number one, there was a part in that podcast where Ice started talking about that. And I know this is not with Joe, man. Joe just doesn't like him. But Ice was saying that his older shit was better than his newer sh- shit. And this is where Joe Budden pisses me off. There's a reason NBA Youngboy became famous. It was because he signed that stupid-ass fucking record deal and it went viral. You remember that? Back yeah. in like 2008, 18, 17, when he first signed the deal. And niggas like, you took that much in an advance on like six albums? Are you fucking dumb? And I truly believe he's in a nasty deal right now. And he's just dropping trash to get out of it. To get out of it. It could be. It could be. But it doesn't excuse the fact that you're fucking up your discography. No one can keep up with your music. And it's not the traditional way where Joe Budden, 50 Cent, like these people we knew growing up. The music industry is different. Yeah. It's fucking shit up. NBA Youngboy, people tear, typically drop an album, they tour it, they juice it out, you hear, you get the experience of the album. NBA Youngboy is on some Gucci Mane mixtape era shit where he drops five, six albums a year. That's not helping him. It's fucking up his career. It's helping him with his money in a sense where it's like, oh, the, the week he drops, people are talking about it, the streams are going up. But overall, I think Joe was, talks about it when I break it down in his response today. But it's like, I don't know. Well, he said he's Gucci Man and he feels like he's Gucci in 2006. I feel like I'm Gucci Man in 2006. I think the kid has a lot of potential. I truly do. I think there's something special about him. When I watch his interviews, I always feel like he's like a, like a prince or Michael Jackson, the way he talks in his interviews. Whereas like in his music, he's so dark. But in his interviews, he's so like, yeah, man, like so calm. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like this guy, like what's up with this guy? There's something special with this guy. Like this guy is different. <laughs> you seen the video where this nigga was talking to the interviewer and he's like, I want you to stop talking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Complex, he told uh, Joe LaPuma, he told Joe LaPuma to stop talking. So basically just shut up. Let's record music now. During the interview, he was like, oh shit. Like this guy, like he knows how to control the room and the energy. Like something special about him is an aura. Now, does that mean that. He also just slings mad dick around. He does sling a lot of dick around, you know what I'm saying? Um, He's not a good influence on anybody. You're absolutely right about that. He's on some he be he's on some bullshit, man. He's on some bullshit. He really needs to change his ways. But he knows this. But then he just he does bullshit. Cause my thing was, you know, I lost respect for him when that Von the King Von thing was going on. Oh yeah, the beef with King Von. Cause they took that shit to another level. Cause that was his um artist, right? Conor yeah. Rondo. Yep. That whole shit that happened. And it's like, bro, it's not even your beef for you to be acting like that. You yeah. are you are on house arrest with a fucking ankle bracelet. And you're lucky the feds don't come in and arrest you again, nigga. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Yeah, he's playing with his life, and he's a he's a father now. Like you, you playing with your you, he, now. He, he been now he been, 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 been a, a father. Fa- he's a father of like ten now. Well, he's a father he, actively. You know what I'm saying? To which one? I this is a bro. The, this is the a Mayweather. Nasty the Mayweather son. Oh, the Mayweather. Oh, the he Mayweather is. son. I forgot he fucking BM the Mayweather's daughter. Yeah, oh but, yeah. my god, this nigga's crazy. Here we have Joe Budden's new reaction today to everyone saying, um, "Hey, Joe, look at what NBA young boy said. Look what he said back." You better say you got great dick. Try to speak up a bit more. Further. No, he's he's a, he's a, he he. His podcast is the number one music podcast. podcast. So he, he, I just want to say I'm way bigger than him. Stop this. You are not oh, bigger than young boy, Joe. I think you, you are not bigger talk. than young boy. I think you guys should talk. I think <clears throat> he says way bigger than him. He's speaking on a overall presence platform, like not, Dog, not the young, the, you, you young idiots get fooled by these label metrics <laughs> and these digital tricks. Would you like me to read you the numbers on Young Boy's last six projects? No, Yo, go I'm, for no, it. No, go no, for no, it. No, 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 no. Go for it. Go for it. Yo, don't, don't cut him off while he's talking. Yo, Joe, go for it. Right. You want to read? I mean, I don't want to. I, did, I mean, I didn't, uh, I, didn't, no, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think I had to do this. Because I'm sure someone here is recording. Yeah, Joe's the best. Like he's so like arrogant. It's crazy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we're always we record every. On you. 2022. Real 20, quick. 2022, never broke again. Quando Rondo, LLC, 14,000 copies. Week one, Billboard position 62. Then you have uh, Fed's Baby, Moneybag, yo, 2017, 21,000. Week one, 38, uh, 3,800 degrees. 
October 7th, 2022. 24,000. Uh, what else we got? Better than you with the baby. March 4th, 2022. 28,000. Until I return, 2020. 29,000. Stop this, yo. Stop. You skipped a January, bunch of projects. Let me just bro. read. January you skipped a 6, bunch of projects. 29,000. Here, we got another one here. 2022. Drama. I got a family. 39,000. We got another one here. September 6th. Never broke again. 39,000. We got another one here. 2018. 43,000. We got another one. 43,000. 2018. We got another one here. 51,000. 2023. The point is, you, you're doing a lot for somebody that don't sell more than 60,000 records. Like, stop it. I get they it. built for the bots, Joe. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. But enough of it. Enough young people just saying stupid shit in hip hop. We get it. You like who you like. Awesome. But it's not this dominant force that you niggas keep trying to make it out to be. Y'all do the same thing with Grant. Y'all do the same thing with all these new niggas that y'all like. Just stop, yo. Mm. Damn, coming out Brent like that was kind of crazy. He doesn't yeah. like Brent. He doesn't like Brent phase. He doesn't? He always like subs them and shit like, yeah, it's not for me. Uh, I don't it's like that album. He, he's a fucking R&B purist. That's why. Yeah. He doesn't think he, doesn't think he, he sings good. Well, there we have it. Um, yo, he's right. This he's, he's bigger than him as far as like, um, I guess, presence overall. Yeah, Joe Budden has been here for decades. But for the kids right now, I think those numbers really don't matter for the kids. Like, how real niggas, is it? Niggas is streaming. How real is it? No, those are... Those are he's those talking about just sales? No, those aren't physical copies. That's streaming numbers, he's saying. Because remember, they do it by the streams and then they add up as a sale. I could have sworn I made a young boy at least one time did over a hundred thousand though. I don't think so. That's my point. I made That's this, crazy. I made this argument before. How real are those YouTube numbers? Because you're breaking legendary YouTube numbers, but you're not selling more than Summer Walker. Yeah. First week, Summer Walker had two hundred K. That shit doesn't add up. SZA hit like three hundred. None of them get the numbers he gets on YouTube. But my question was... He's the king of YouTube. My, but this was my question. There's either three things going on. It's easier to farm views on YouTube than it is through Spotify and Apple and all the, all the other streaming services. 100%. Or, this is the other option, Leo Korn, who works at YouTube, yeah. is working with him, and they're inflating numbers illegally. Not illegally, but they're, they're, they're fabricating numbers to keep boosting him. Or the last one is, his demographic only goes on YouTube. That last one sounds very like unrealistic. You're telling me his entire the majority of his demographic, the what is it like? He gets like 300 million views a fucking video. The 300 million people are not listening to his shit on Apple Music or Spotify. It's that very make strange. Sense. It's very strange. But then I think it's Joe. What Joe's trying to prove is the point where it's like I do agree. NBA YoungBoy is not as big as he and his fan base makes him out to be. He is not a top tier. Like he's not like a like he he's big because he has a strong fan base. He, he he's big as far as a controversy, not controversy, uh, but conversational piece. People love talking about NBA Young Boy, what he's done, what's going on, latest NBA Young Boy news. But I don't think NBA Young Boy is like pushing a boundary musically right now when it comes to know. like culture. Like if he drops, people gotta move. Like he's no, that's not happening with NBA Young Boy. At all. He, he drops and people don't even know he drops. Because he, he drops so often. You know, and his whole thing is like, bitch, I'm number two right now. Bitch, I'm number one right now. Bitch, I'm number one. It's like, yes, but... I don't know what, YouTube trending? My thing is like, yeah, just because you are dropping, you are doing your thing, are you having impact, though? Like, are people caring? What was the last NBA Young Boy song you've, you know, you know? And he needs to understand that, that that's o that's okay. Like he needs to be like it's okay. Like my fans fuck with me and only them, but that's okay. He needs to stop trying to compare himself to like a Drake or like a Lil Durk and all these people. Bro, you're not as big as them, and you can't be because you're stuck at home. You're in house arrest. You can't leave. But Vic, this is his fan base's point, and I have to give it to them. And that's why I keep asking: Is are these numbers fabricated? Because you're saying you can't put them in the numbers with Drake. I have better numbers than Drake. 
on YouTube, he has better numbers than Drake. No, Kanye. on YouTube, he has better numbers than everyone. So if I have better numbers than you on this platform, on a visual platform, why in God's name am I not better than you? Yeah. And your argument is valid. I don't feel you in the streets. Like you said, I don't see you in the club. I don't hear your name. You ain't make. You got no motion in a lot of these different areas. So how are you the biggest? It leads His me interviews, to assume you're, str- you're, you're buying streams. His interviews get crazy views, though. So if, it, if your interviews also get millions of views, I feel like... Or calculated sh- farming. It could also be that. It could be, but I don't know. Because Takashi was doing the same fucking thing. Yeah, but Takashi, Takashi interviews doing crazy still. The Spanish ones he's been doing get millions of views. It's crazy. Because when he first got out, the few of those songs he was dropping, those comments didn't look real. Oh, no, yeah, they gave bodish vibes, 100%. 100%. I don't know though. My thing is, bro. At the end of the I day, I think it's possible. It's possible that it's inflated numbers. Don't get me wrong. Because why is it not in the streaming services? That means people aren't listening to your music after the fact. I don't know. NBA YoungBoy he drops there first. He'll drop his song on YouTube first. I'll get notifications. I have his notifications. He'll drop there first, and like a day or two later, it'll be on streaming services. That's how it is. Like he'll drop like on a third. Even if it comes out Friday, he'll drop it on a Thursday morning. On YouTube with the music video and everything, yeah, you get it there first, and then the next day's on streaming. That's how his shit does. Like he he prioritizes YouTube, I guess, because he knows that's where it works. That's where he's gonna get the most money. My my thing is, is that if it's not farmed, cool. You're left to assume that the demographic is only going on YouTube. You're telling, and the only demographic I can assume is just on YouTube and not on streaming services are like ten year olds, youngins. So you're telling me mad ten year olds listen to NBA YoungBoy? That's crazy. That's a grip. 300 million 10 year olds? Like, come on, bro. This nigga be hitting numbers. 300 million 10 year olds is crazy. Uh, like, a damn nigga. They, they could just go to the playground and bake the young boy. Like, what are you doing? Like, what is your life about? It's, it's that or people who live his same lifestyle. Mad baby mamas. Gone, you know, shit like that. They don't got Apple Music? I don't know, bro. I don't know. <laughs> what? They might still be. Hood niggas always they, play music they, on YouTube, though. 100%. Hood damn. niggas will be doing that. Hood yeah. niggas play music on YouTube because YouTube is free. That's valid. You gotta play ads sometimes, obviously, but it's free. That's yeah. valid. You can just throw on YouTube, it's free. Yeah. On their clapped out fucking Android phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Never broke that, again. That Never got, broke again, young they, boy. That they got for free after getting the line, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro. Never broke again, but I'm, his fans are all broke. Oh, Metro PCS. His fans are all broke, bro. We're gonna get Let's killed honest. for that statement. <laughs> his fans are all broke. That's what it is. I don't oh know. It's God. very interesting. I would love, I would, he's one of my like, like dream interviews, I would sit down with NBA Youngboy and talk to him about life for so long, because I feel like them, there's something special about the guy, something special about him. Do you think he's broke? Hell no. Hell no. I think them, he's too with, rich. With them views and shit like that on YouTube. Hell no. What is the? Hold on. Even if he's getting licked by his contract, I think he's he's getting a good amount of money where he he's like he's set off. That three sixty deal was nasty. It was nigga, but you know they helped his case. They, they got lawyers. Point. Who's paying for these lawyers? a lot lawyers? of money behind that nigga. That's my point. And that's my question. Because if he's paying his lawyer fees, he's fucked. But if he's not, that's a different conversation. Because you're getting money you can't even spend because you're stuck at home. But how much is the label really given in these lawyer cases? Because this nigga goes to court like every year. I think he's definitely, um. is he richer than Joe Budden? <laughs> Do you think so? Yeah. You think so? Hell yeah. You think so? Yeah, NBA young boy. Have you done the pod numbers? Have you get, like estimated? I pocket watched like that once. It was nasty, but I did the numbers. I think Joe probably has like around like I think nets twenty like, million dollars. I think he nets forty million a year from that podcast. I don't think that high. It's twenty five dollars a month. Two hundred k people. Let's say go. On. Well, he might net yes. Okay, from if you're Patreon. saying just what comes in, probably yeah. yes. But what he has? Oh no, because he has to pay after much shit. after spending so much. Yeah, probably like twenty. No, yeah, of course. But NBA you think boy, his net worth is twenty mil? Right now, I don't think so. Joe Budden? Yeah. So let me ask you Damn, a question. Damn, Joe Budden, you broke. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. If, if Young Boy <laughs> says something or Joe Budden... And Young Boy probably got like 40, 50 easy. So let me ask you a question. Who moves the needle more, Young Boy or Joe Budden? Oh, Joe Budden. Who moves Joe, the what more? The needle. In culture more, in Joe culture. Budden. Mm-hmm. Bro, NBA Young Boy can't, as of right now... Have like a proper even if he let's say conversation just about stuff happening because like he's so much in his mind. But why would you want to fucking hear a young boy talk about anything like that? I think 
Why not? Oh, that's such he's influential. NBA young boy. What do you think about the whole Palestine and Israel thing going on? I don't give a fuck what I didn't he has say to say that, about that shit. You know what I'm saying? But shit like that. So I, I, I do want him saying. though, like he said in his interview, like he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, you know, I know my influence. That was the best. That was the best version of him. Like, okay, this nigga knows that he's an idiot, and he's been saying idiotic shit, and you got the kids acting like idiots. Because it's the common, it's an elephant in the room, and no one, no one addresses. Okay, okay, that's cool though, but but he hasn't done shit about it. So what the fuck's the whole point? And that I think, shit gets drowned out by all the other bullshit. Who cares then? And Marlon's right. I think there's a cutoff between the two. Young boy has a fan base that Joe Bunny will never touches because they don't go fuck what he has to say. Hundred percent. And then it's the same for for Young boy. Yeah. Niggas don't niggas niggas in Joe Budden's group do not give a fuck what Young Boy gotta say, bro. I don't give a fuck what Young Boy gotta say. It's, a, it's Young Boy. Who cares? Yeah. And I, I, I'm gonna get a deep conversation from Young. Like, come on, let's be for real, bro. Like right now in his life, no, I'm not. He's 15, like baby mama's in. He's <laughs> locked up doing mad drugs, lit as fuck. Talking yeah, but it's, kill a, it's a generational thing. I'm telling you, it's a generational He's young thing. Too, yeah. It's yeah. a generational thing. Like the younger kids don't give a fuck about Joe Budden. Of course. 100%. They give a fuck about NBA Young Boy, though. But older 100%. niggas don't give a fuck about NBA Young Boy. Even niggas oh, our yeah, age vice in their versa. 20s, like 22, 23, don't go fuck about NBA Young Boy. What he got to say? 100% vice versa. But it's like, I feel like that he does have like the youth oh, in a chokehold. I agree. So it's like, I don't want to negate that. No, Me no, personally. No, nobody, nobody's, nobody's negating, negating I feel, that. I feel like, but I feel like if that's, that's damn near more important. If yeah, you think about it, you know, 100%. because the youth is the future, nigga. One hundred percent. So if no, that no, nigga no, was no, on yeah. some like that, what I'm saying is, if that nigga was on some Joe Budden shit, where he was more conscious and like can actually talk about shit and like actually do what he promised he was gonna do, then it was like, oh shit, these young niggas would actually give a fuck. Because I've been around kids and like they'll say some. Uh, well, we saw the other day on Kai Sinai's stream. We never spoke about it here yet, but that whole shit with that young nigga was like rapping about raping. Oh yeah, a that girl. shit was what is, crazy. And that nigga was nine years old. And it's like, because that's what he sees in rap. And like, it's like a comedy. Like, he wants to rap about rape. Like, what? The, and it's like so common and so like laugh, laughed off. But that's what these young kids talk about. I've been around Deja's little brother and shit. Like, they love young NBA young boy. They listen to all that young drill shit. It's influencing these niggas. They gonna love me for my ambition. 